So I've been going through lots of boxes and I'm finding so many cool things. I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep this, but I'm not going to bring it back to Massachusetts with me right now. But like I made this mask when I was 17. I hand painted all the lace. I didn't make the lace, but I hand painted it and attached it. It took like five hours to make. And I also have a bunch of like armor and stuff. And I was packing it up and I just realized, oh, why wasn't I showing you guys? But I have like my chain mail that I made and different armor. <laughs> and here's my whip that I got when I was 12. And I spent a long time learning how to crack it in the air. And yeah, I just, everything's in giant mess right now. And these are all school boxes, like full of stuff from school. <laughs> All of them and this is like my latin when i was learning that and i wrote a school year with like key points and stuff and components about fairy tales and yeah it's just like it's really fun and some of the stuff i want to take back with me but most of it i'm leaving here for now and it's all really awesome <laughs> it makes me really happy and nostalgic to be looking through all of this. I have a lot of like journals, like this is my journal when I was like 14 and 15 and stuff like that that I just wrote in personally and yep, lots of stuff <laughs> and everything's a giant mess right now and yeah. Also this is my antique Indian scarf that I got when I was like 10 years old. I got it for like f five bucks in the back of like a store in Little India and now they don't sell anything like this, even when we went back a couple years after that, they didn't sell anything like this, but it's absolutely gorgeous, and I've worn it so many times, like, as an actual skirt, or just as a sari, or whatever, but, oh, man, I got so many cool things when I was younger, and I just, I'm going to keep them forever, because they're beautiful. We're also watching The Court Jester, which is a favorite of my family's, it's, ooh, from the 50s? Is that right? I don't know. And it's with Danny Kay? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's with Danny Kay. And we love him. He's one of my favorite actors, honestly. <laughs> I adore him. And yeah, so we're watching it. How far are we through? I feel like we're over halfway. We haven't really been paying attention to it. Today is Monday. Welcome to Monday. I'm eating an apple juice popsicle that my mother made for the children. And then I ate them all. They're really good. I know, we never gave them to the kids. I mean, we fed the kids so much sugar while they were here that they'll survive. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep working on stuff probably till midnight and then tomorrow we're going on a fun adventure. And yeah. So we really aren't allowed to like on the vlog stick music because it's all copyrighted, but in the background it just stopped. But you might have been able to hear and it's starting again. Some Indian music because, <laughs> some Bollywood Indian music because my mom and I are gonna watch Bride and Precious because tomorrow we're planning on going to Little India. And so this is one of the few Indian movies, at least that we have available, that is actually in English because they're all in Hindi and so we have to read the subtitles. Actually, I've watched some of my favorites so many times that one time I was watching one and I got like probably halfway through and then I realized there were no subtitles on and I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I mean, I know everything they're saying because maybe I've seen this movie too many times. So we, yeah, that's what we're gonna watch next. We've already watched The Princess Bride. And by watched, I mean like, I honestly missed half the movie, which is okay, I guess, because I've seen it so many times, but we watched The Princess Bride. We watched The Court Jester. We've watched Letters to Juliet, Strictly Ballroom, that's it. Sorry, I have some leather behind me, excuse me, and a little bag. They're falling off the back of the couch because I'm leaning against it. We also watched Strictly Ballroom, which is another one of my favorites, and again, I missed like half of it. I was, I realized, I'm like, I missed all the dance scene that scenes. That was really sad since that's what the whole movie is, is like dancing. I'm like, oh most of the movie honestly but yeah we've just been watching lovely wonderful like favorites of ours and cleaning the heck out of everything I brought in a bunch more boxes and have been organizing stuff and about to organize even more and yeah <laughs> these are all the boxes of books that I'm gonna try to fit into my suitcases and they will probably fail and a couple of these I'll just have to box up and have my mom mail to me and these are just more random things to go through oh my gosh you guys 
ridiculousness. So I just found these in one of my boxes and I figured I'd show them to you. This is my pin collection because I collected pins for many years and I still do when I when I see them. I will I will pick them up. So um yeah. I just just have a few, you know. Not <laughs> not anything crazy, of course. Not me. I never go excessive with anything that I love. This one I got when I was in Maine. This one I got when I was driving through Texas. I'm not sure. I don't remember where I got this one. I think I might have gotten it at like a cathedral or something. Honestly, I don't remember. I know there's another one. I got this one at a cathedral in, oh, San Francisco. And I got this one in Vermont. This is not my favorite Vermont one though. I have another one that I like much better. And you can hear my mom walking around. She wears very loud shoes all the time. And here's another thing. The back came off of this one, but I had a, I have an Ohio State one. <laughs> this one, the back came off of, I guess, but I had an Ohio State one just to bother my dad because he doesn't like them. Beauty and the Beast. Another Route 66 because that goes right by my house. There's a lot of Route 66 stuff, but even though I got that in Texas, I think as well. In Kentucky, Ugh, yeah, Hawaii. I didn't actually buy this when I was in Hawaii, but I have been there. There's a Colorado one. I forgot that I bought that there. This is one of the ones that I bought in New York and Tennessee, Arizona, etc. Oklahoma. And here's one from Oregon that I actually really like. I never took it off of the thing. And this is one from Calico Ghost Town. Yay, I love Calico. New Mexico. Oh, here's my other Vermont one. This is my favorite, one of my favorite pins I've ever gotten. I love it. Maple Leafs are some of my favorites. Route 66 wings and so on. This one's from Utah. The Getty. I have another Getty one as well that's blue. I got them on different trips when I've been there because I've been there quite often. This one my mom got for me when she was in England. She got it at the Globe Theatre, which was really amazing of her. And I think she got this one at like St. Michael's Cathedral or something like that. Like I think she also got that one when she was in France or in England. And yeah, lots and lots of pins. This one is from the Huntington, which is one of my favorite places in the whole world. As you guys know, there's another Huntington pin in here as well, a <laughs> Buffalo Crossing. Love it. But I don't know where my other Huntington pin is. And this one is from a place in Indiana. So there's kind of a my pin collection tour. Just little random ones. And yeah. This is another one my mom got for me when she was in Normandy, which was really cool of her. And I don't remember where I got this one. This was something where I was at a school trip, though. And then they also got these two for me in England, obviously. The London bus and platform nine and three quarters when they went there without me. It's very sad. And then these are all pins that say I am loved. And they say them in different languages and different styles. Um, you can get these, or used to be able to get these at Hellsburg. I think they only make the normal pins now, but they used to come out with a different one almost every month, I feel like. And obviously we were, we were obsessed because we went and got all of them. And these are all I Am Loved pins as well because apparently I just could not get enough. So, And then these I got when I was working at a Cinemark because you can buy those there and yeah it's like the charity pin so here's a little look at my pin collection this isn't even all of them i know i have more of these round ones that aren't i am loved ones but this one's perfect for christopher and my wedding and i used to put these on my bags and walk around with them so i've actually lost a lot of pins and so i stopped doing that but yes I don't have an obsession at all. I found my other pins, you guys. It's this whole big container, just completely stuffed full. Um, I know this one, I, my, I think my mom picked up for me in a cathedral in like France. And yeah, there's just a Beatles pin, <laughs> Princess Leia, this Carpe Librum. I think my mom got this for me. It says seize the book. Uh, and I think I got this one at Maybe a frozen yogurt, please. I got this one, obviously, in New York. You saw me swear that I'm up to no good. There's a platform nine and three quarters. More Beatles, because I love them. More Alice in Wonderland, because I love them. 
more, more Alice again, because Alice Wonderland's the best thing ever. Jack Skellington, I'm the Walrus, perfect. <laughs> Grumpy, there's just a million. It would take forever to show you guys all of them, but more, more Jack and Sally. I think I got this one in New York as well. <laughs> no whining even though I whine all the time. And even a few I Am Loved pins have snuck in here that I need to separate and pull out because they have their own special container because there are just too many of them. And my mom got this for me when she was in Kansas at the Kansas Wizard of Oz Museum. So there's just a lot of memories in here and lots of funness and more Disney and more Disney. I've actually bought a lot of pins from Disneyland and I'm kind of... I'm kind of obsessed and I have some more that I've bought since being in Massachusetts that technically belong in here and will eventually make their way into this jar. Also, as I'm sorting stuff, I started watching Bride and Prejudice and yes, I know, I know most of the words and have been singing along. I found some picture frames, tape thingies and pictures. Wow, the lighting in here is atrocious. I apologize sincerely and of course, Gene Kelly, because who can live without him? He's probably my favorite actor of all time. These, I have a lot of pictures that have just gotten stuffed back behind here. My sister and me, if you can read sign language, you know what that says. We're so nice. My sister and my mom and me at the Getty. Um, this is me and a little girl in our masks at, in our ball gowns. This is my piano students and me on my last, my second to last recital. This was the second recital that I ever did with my piano students. Um, this is me and my oldest sister when I was about six maybe. Oh no, I was, I think I was eight there actually. And women's projects and stuff. And then in here, I have more pictures, which you can turn this picture frame on its side like this as well. This is my sister and me taking pictures before she left for France to live for a year and a half. This is me when I was mm, probably about seven at the A in front of California Adventure at the end of California, but I think they tore these down actually, the California sign, which I realized when I went there last and couldn't get a picture. And then I think that this is actually in Colorado. <laughs> I don't remember. And then my sister and me a long time ago. We're making weird faces, never mind. And any pictures that I've been finding like these, I've been putting in this box of pictures. This is me when I was, I think, five or six. Um, this was a lady in my church who ended up passing away a few weeks later, and my mom and I visited her. Yeah, and this is me as a pirate when I was about eight, I think, and just different fun church projects and, oh, <laughs> Splash Mountain, lovely. And pretty sure that's it. yeah. Girls camp. This is me, by the way, all dressed in camo. Me petting, is that a baby can kangaroo or just a small, a small kangaroo-like animal? My eighth birthday. Just fun random pictures that are just fun memories and stuff. And this is me with Queen Elizabeth when I was uh, 11 and my sister and just different pictures and I've been throwing them all in here. Oh, this one's cute. I have to show you guys this one and then I'll be done, I promise. This is me petting a hedgehog and I was, I think I was nine and it was a very thrilling day for me. It was the first hedgehog I ever touched. And back in the super red room, which makes me look super red and orange. So I'm sure Christopher told you guys about this today and talked to you guys about this because he's the one that told me. But today apparently is day 200, which is ridiculous and insane and extremely awesome and I just want to say thank you guys like you made this journey so wonderful and it's I look forward to every time vlogs are posted because of all your wonderful sweet comments and everything I just we both appreciate it so much and I know the vlog's been super crazy lately and <laughs> at this point the last day that went up I think was 160 something so we're about 40 days behind but I just you guys are awesome and thanks for your patience and yeah you guys just rock so thank you and it's late now and I'm going to sleep I did lots of serious damage today and I've just gotten rid of so much stuff and I just I'm feeling really good and really motivated and stuff but tomorrow I'm taking a break and then when I get back I have to 
weigh all my suitcases and finish packing them up and then that's about it. I have honestly done so much the past couple days that I haven't really showed you guys because I'd do it all and I'd be like, oh, wait, I'm supposed to vlog that. But yeah, it's been really fun going through some stuff and um, there's some more things that I want to show you guys tomorrow. So hopefully that happens and I also want to do a house tour tomorrow. Fingers crossed that ends up happening, but seriously, thank you guys for 200 days. You're amazing, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.